Hi guys, my name is Bizzleberry and I am a content creator and I'm in the lead partnership program. Um, so if you guys don't know who I am, I make content for League and I have been doing so for a few years now. Um, and I make support content for YouTube and Twitch and I stream. So I'm making this video to try and clear up a bit about what the lead partnership program is about and to basically say I feel a lot of a lot of what of you guys are thinking and saying publicly and so are a lot of other content creators um, in regarding about being in the lead partnership program and what it's kind of rep representing at this kind of stage a moment in time um, I'm pretty nervous about making this video because I don't know what might happen because of this. Um, but I guess it's something that I feel pretty passionate about and I can't really just sit here and just watch it just burn to the ground because other content creators feel like that they can use their influence to burn the efforts of everyone else in in it. So let me just, you know, establish some of you guys might not even know what the League Partnership Program. So the LPP is what it's called, is got opened last year, I believe, where they invited content creators reaching, I think it was 50 concurrent views uh, on Twitch, on streams, and you, and or you needed a thousand subs on YouTube with 4,000 video views a month um i'll probably say that's quite a low requirement to join particularly on the youtube front but those were the requirements at the time as you can imagine because of the relatively low requirements a lot of content creators applied and a lot and a lot of content creators got in um so there was no real way in my opinion that these all these people could be verified properly uh, there's different divisions of the League Partnership Program. You've got NALPP, which has probably been the most publicly controversial. Um, and also I can say with confidence that there's a lot of people in the EU side of things that haven't been happy with what's been happening on the NA side of things because we're all getting branded into this one batch of LPP and probably rightly so. Um, so there's the subdivisions and even in the Europe division, there's separate UK LPP, there's a German one, there's a French one. So just to kind of like give you guys of what's up. So what do you actually get for being in the lead partnership program? So you get as a content creator, every X months, um, randomly, we get given codes to give away on our platforms. We also get one or two accounts where they have LPP unlocked, where we have access to every single champion, uh, almost every skin for free. Uh, we don't actually like own them, we rent them from Riot. It's a similar system if you're familiar with in Korea. If you play at a PC bang, then you get to, when you're playing there, you get access to all the skins and things like that. You rent them while you're playing there but you don't get to take them home essentially. So it's an incentive for them to play at PC bangs. And the same sort of coding was used for the LPP. So all these content creators are kind of using, don't know if the code's improved much since on the release, but you know, spaghetti code and all that. Um, we are basically renting skins from Riot and champions, I believe maybe as well. So that is one benefit of being in the lead partnership program. Um, other things can include that we get a private discord um, with all the content creators and some Riot people and community managers who don't, who work for Riot but aren't part of Riot. Shout out to all those people that are those sort of community managers that aren't working for Riot because I know you guys are working your butts off and you guys are the main reason why the LPP for me has some hope. So thank you guys. You guys know who I'm talking about. 
but you guys are um, very much welcome in this current time. So in this private discord, we can give screenshots of bad behavior from players from such as running it down, you know, or all the kind of bad, bad stuff that can happen in league. We can post that in a separate channel and Riot looks into it and reports that. I might add that it's pretty weird because in the EU Discord we have that, but on the UK separate Discord we don't have that. And some people in the UK Discord aren't don't have access to the EU Discord. I don't know why, but just throwing that out there. Um, especially with right now with the current pandemic that's going on, we the Riot customer support ticket is down. And I keep getting messages from people um, privately on Discord. I keep having to say no. But people have been trying to get me to report players from their games onto the Discord. Not allowed. Never done it. Hope no one, none of the other content creators have done it. But um, basically we get a wage so that someone at who works for Riot is Riot can ban those people after investigating our screenshots and our game and our chat logs. So those are the benefits of being in LPP. There has been previous events as well that's happened last year. Um, I will say the people working on the LPP at the very start were pretty good for my from my perspective. In the UK, we had the house event that happened. I don't know if anyone remembers that. It was like the academy things that happened with Lux and Ezreal and those the different houses. Um, I was fortunate enough to be part of that and had my mug face on the client for a couple of days. Um, and sometimes we get occasionally sent some freebies. Um, two freebies have been from the house event and the Legends of Rune Terror launch. We got sent some codes, uh, uh, not codes, sorry, card, big giant cards. Um, I'm not too sure. If, uh, how many people received those, but I was one of the people that received them. There was also a League 10 event in the UK that people were invited to. Uh, I wasn't invited to that, unfortunately, due to RNG. Um, too many people to pick from. Um, but, you know, is what it is. But those are some of the benefits of being a League Partnership Program. As of the last seven months now, around seven months, Nothing has happened in terms of communication with Riot. Um, it seemed like they were drumming up a lot of stuff for the League 10 event. Um, but it's been pretty silent since then. Even the codes they've been given out have been extremely scarce. Um, but obviously, you know, getting to give something out to your community, giving something back for free is awesome for a content creator. Especially one that's rising up. Um, so I know some of those Twitter uh, posts have helped people buff up their follower account and, and stuff like that. So what's the problem then, Bizzleberry? You seem as a content creator seem to be getting a lot of, you know, extra perks. Well, the main problem I have right now with the lead partnership program and kind of the main reason why I got a bit scared about making this video is the current public image of the lead partnership program is currently outweighing by far the the controversy and all that thing all that stuff that's happening right now is outweighing the actual reward for being in the lead partnership program so if you guys aren't familiar there's been lots of people in the lead partnership program that have been openly toxic on stream or in their videos and not getting any punishment it kind of is giving the perspective that these players are getting special treatment. Very few of these players have been kicked out of the lead partnership program. As you may know, I'm not going to start naming names here, but it doesn't take a lot of research to find out what some people have been doing, particularly in the high concurrent number count. Um, as a content creator perspective, um, unfortunately, outrageous behavior um, usually wins on the engagement and you know, that kind of front. So that, so that kind of content is always going to be the most popular. 
But the problem is, is that if you are in the lead partnership program and you're not of that kind of behavior, is giving off the impression not just to players that are playing league, but also to people that aren't toxic in the lead partnership program, like myself, I like to think of myself as not being toxic. Um, it's giving off an impression where it's, it's something that it's not only okay to do, but Riot is saying it's okay. Awkward clip mash here because my PC actually crashed. But my point is, is that from most people's perspective, um, from everyone that I've spoken to um, in the discords that I have access to, to my viewers, um, to other content creators, that th this isn't okay. I think like, I'm nervous making this video because I think I'm the only person so far to actually vocally raise these issues to try and get them resolved. Um, I've had a lot of messages in private about people working for Riot wanting to see change in the lead partnership program. Um, that they weren't happy that toxic players were still allowed to play, um, not only league, but also allowed to be allowed in the league partnership program in the first place. And that they've been shut down. Um, I'm not going to name names, but there's a lot of people, <laughs> um, privately, both content creators, people that work with Riot, um, and other people that are scared to speak up and rightly so because some of these people their jobs could be affected um so my main goal is right please like you guys it's not difficult to see what's happening and it's easier to ignore than actually take action and it feels like you're ignoring um a lot of needs that the LPP has, like the LPP has a great potential to showcase people that who genuinely love the game and are giving the right impression and image of the game. And, you know, like if someone is being vile uh, for 10 hours every day and no repercussions, then what kind of message is that sending to everyone else watching their stream, um, people are going to watch that think, oh, it's okay for me to flame my jungler. It's okay for me to flame my other people on my team because they made a mistake. It's not okay. And a lot more needs to be done. Um, more than just adding a report button in the champion selection. Um, a lot more has to be done in terms of people buying accounts. This is just on the LPP issues alone. There's something here that Riot can do right now and quite quickly that doesn't need bot detection or anything like that. Just have a few people investigating whether or not people should be even in the league partnership program. Have a look and see if people are meeting the code of conduct that, that Riot would expect from their own summoners code. And you know, just do check to see if they're even playing League. There's plenty of people in the League Partnership Program that are not playing any Riot games. And they are under the th required th threshold of being allowed in the League Partnership Program in the first place. Like under 50 concurrent viewers, for example. And they're taking spots where up and rising content creators who really want to be part of something, something potentially great in the League Partnership Program. They're just not allowed in. Um, my message to those people that are looking to join the league partnership program at the moment, you're not missing out on a whole lot. In fact, it's embarrassing being associated with the people that are toxic and are making the headlines on Reddit, etc. Um, and this is just a hope that something changes. The league partnership program can be, could be an amazing tool. Um, that Riot could be really proud of and the people working 
both content creator wise and people working with Riot and Riot themselves could be really proud of something where they can have their own stamp of approval and go, yeah, they've done a pretty good job. But can anyone there particularly higher up look at the lead partnership program and say that they're satisfied of what's going on? From my perspective, no, and there's a long way to go. Um, I hope that this sparks something. I really do. I would love the league partnership program to to be successful, but at the moment, as mentioned before, the downsides of being in, in it are <laughs> terrible. I don't want to be an LPP meme where being people in the LPP are just toxic streamers that report people constantly and uh, get away with the stuff that they're reporting players for. I don't want to be associated with that, and I know a lot of people don't want to be either. So I hope this video maybe clarifies and clears some things up. I hope if you are someone who's working with or for Riot, I hope you understand why I made this video and yeah, yeah. Um love the game. Always have done, played it for ten years. Um but something has to change uh, in order for the LPP to survive, in my opinion. Um I uh, hope you guys are all doing safe during the what's going on right now and um, wish you all the best. Take care.